tuples and list of tuples as parameters. Okay, so we're going to have this go here, we'll copy it, we'll go ahead here and paste it, and run it, and sure enough, there we go. Okay, so uh, here we're creating an oval, whereas before we would have created it as such, 50 comma 50 comma 250 comma 150. And if I run that code, you'll notice it's exactly the same. Um, but here, I actually have the xy point and then the uh, second xy point. And TK Inter actually understands how to manage that. I would say it's not very interesting for ovals, probably uh, you don't need it. But for polygons, it actually can be interesting. Because here, instead of specifying 50, 30, 150, 50, 250, 30, uh, all of these as parameters, there it's, I have a list of points. So watch what happens. I'm going to say my points are, I'm going to pull that out, put them in a point list. And then I'll say create a polygon with my points in green, and that still works. And what that lets you do is something like this, points.append, I'll have a new point of say, I don't know, 20 comma 100, who knows what this is gonna do. But it just, I can add to this list, I can also say remove from this list, instead of appending that point, points.pop, I'll remove, and sure enough, the last point disappeared. And if I hadn't done that, it's here. So this is actually really convenient because we can put our points in a point list and ask TK Enter to draw the polygon using all those points. Uh, so there you have it. You can specify the parameters uh, the old-fashioned way, which is uh, how we learned here in a series of numbers, or you can actually put them all in a list. Uh, and actually, technically, a tuple is what um, TKinter is expecting, but if you give it a list, it can manage a list. If you don't know the difference between a list and tuple, it's only because we haven't done 1D lists, but we're doing them this week, in fact, um, right away after graphics. So you'll know, understand more soon.